Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Magician Lord on the Neo Geo, released by SNK 1990, only this is running on CoinUps 8 on my modded Xbox. Because if I run it on my Pandora's box, it's 16x9 and I want it 4x3. So this was a launch game um, for the MVS as well as the home system, the AES, and it was also a packing game for the AES. I don't even want to know how much the uh, AES would have cost with this packed in because for most people, myself included in the United Kingdom at least uh, we first saw this in me machines because you know this the Neo Geo is just something unheard of to us it was you know a home console that's basically an arcade machine it's arcade perfect because it is the arcade and its games are like 250 quid it drops me straight into it then I really don't know why it does that but yeah 250 quid and you know almost like what half the price of the console uh, obviously in North America you could rent it, couldn't you, and stuff like that. I don't think you could over here, so it, it was just stuff, uh, stuff of legend and lore. We only got to experience it in the arcade, but yeah, I remember seeing this in Mean Machines and just thinking it looked utterly fantastic. Remind me of that game on the Mega Drive, I think is a sequel to Spellcaster or the Master System, but kind of like on steroids. I know it was really, really well reviewed. Uh, they praised it for its music. It's eight levels, it's an eight directional scrolling game. Think in the kind of, you know, style of Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts. It's, it's not working on this pad. I really need to clean my pad. <laughs> Awkward. Anyway, so yeah, it was just like, wow. I mean, I, I dreamed of Neo Geo when I was a kid, but it was never gonna happen. But yeah, the music's amazing in this. Now, doesn't it have some sort of, you could transform into various different creatures or a ninja? That sounds awesome like that. You can transform into various different creatures. Or a ninja. Ninja, please, every time. Right. Now, the point is, uh, there's a bad guy called Gal Glessy who was imprisoned years ago using these things called tones, I think, and he escapes, and then he tracks them down and takes all the tones. And so is the Magician Lord. Your job is to, I guess, imprison him back again. Anyway, so power bottom right, scoring all that guff, top left. It's brutally hard. Even right at the start, I can tell you that. Not just because I'm shizen, but... Uh, yeah, so obviously using your ability to transform into stuff like that, you progress through the levels. That's the worst descriptive term ever. But you get the gist. Looks absolutely lovely. It's a bit stiff on the animation on the uh, main character. I'm running down Shaw! Oh! I have no idea how any of that missed me. You take two hits and you die. But yeah, I've been um, requested, there you go, to play this for absolutely ages and I've just never gotten around to doing it. All kinds of, you know, undead shit going on, I do like that. He's less stiff as, to be honest, I don't even know what he is. Right, I've transformed back and another hit and I'm dead. Thing is, you're kind of boxed in and it's quite difficult to... Avoid the bad guys, tits, and I'm dead. Fucking hell, I know it's here to make money, but that's like, dead of the evil gods. Hey, at least it doesn't bounce me back, but yeah, that's like, well cheeky. Good stuff going on in the background, lovely waterfall. I mean, if you were used to Mega Drive and stuff like that, games, you know, even System 16 games in the arcades, so yeah, this would have been something else. I suspect that door's going to play a part. Paradox is a maze, balls. Do I go with it? Yes. I was actually trying to shoot upwards to kill those bastards. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that's a bit... Mm, points off for that. Right, obviously you can power up your, your... Yoink! Power up your yoink. Seriously, try it. I recommend. Power up magic. With that stuff? I'm a ninja. Oh my god, I can only fall forwards.
I don't like the two hit shits. I don't like the two hit shit. I like that motorbike outside even less. I'm guessing I what? I can't destroy it. Run! Yeah, it just it just it drops you right in the shit, basically. Yeah, imagine stepping up to this from a Mega Drive if you were incredibly rich, lucky, or just massively spoiled. Little view of gods, just in case you've got. Yoink! Remind me to give my Duke big fucking clean. I keep saying that, I never get round to doing it. Again, that sounded awkward. Get right in there. Saw your Duke out. Boss? No, just funky music. I'm guessing you got to work his pattern out. Right, I just use all my lives. I'm being cheap. Oh, it Star Trek me out. Oh, look at this. What that's pretty epic speech. Right, thing is, got a little bit difficult to see where they're coming from because, oh, my score's obstructing them. But I don't really have to worry about that anymore, do I? <laughs> I can't get over how brutally hard this is. Do you like my tactics? They're amazing, aren't they? Does he even have a health? I think if I had a charge. Fuck off. Absolutely fudger of offer. All the times before when I was continuing, then I it was it was keeping tally of the amount I was spanking him because yeah okay you must have had to not just to buy this to the, you know play at home but you know to play for the arcades I'm guessing you had to be quite wealthy well your parents would be quite wealthy because let's be honest they were the one who gave you your money for these things look at that. Backlash is so nice looking, uh, and the detail is amazing. Balls, even today. A bit of screen tearing going on there. Can't go that way. Jazz piano. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's quite. Oh yeah, that's quite handy. Door. You've, I'm guessing you can power up, but your firing seems quite laboured. To the evil mind. I don't like the way, it really does feel like there's nowhere to like get out of the way of these people. Aerial attacks. Oh, that was me trying to fire up again. Right. That's the only bit I'm not impressed with. It looks like a flasher in a Mac. Oh, why am I jumping? They're, oh, they're mortars. Run away. No, run away. I fucking hate those things. All right, you don't have to keep repeating yourself. I suspect. Yeah. I mean, it, it's pinching all the tropes, isn't it? But basically, it's just doing what other games did back then in an incredibly polished manner. See if I can shoot them. Oh, I wish I had a time machine so I could go back in time and experience this for the first time, even though I never actually had anything to play on back then. But you know what I mean? Because this just would have been so much a step above. Snares was out in nine. Well, the Super Famicom was out in nine, wasn't it? So basically, you're pumping your money in to edge along ever so slightly. A couple of inches at a time. Ooh! 
I wish you could fire quicker. That's another thing that I don't like. I know, I'm blaming my tools. Fire quicker and more often. That's annoying because you got the whole, ah, fuck it. You're, uh, you need to duck to shoot them, but you've just gone up a ladder. So if you go down, you go down a ladder. You get my point. And that there, flying along as you go up. But then, as I said, it's an arcade machine. It's here to make money. Put people's kids through college. Stop teleporting, you bar steward. This is brutal. This is Ghosts and Goblins art, I would say. Nothing's Ghosts and Goblins art, Dave. Well, this seems to be, anyway. Look! Fuck off! To the scar mark, to the evil mark. I'm running because I'm vulnerable. Holy cowballs. Holy cowballs? Yeah, holy cowballs. Right. Be gone. I did. Oh. <laughs> See, at this point, as a kid, I've basically had my pocket money for like two months in one go. No. Oh, look at that. That's called a get out of jail free card. It says that, but we're still in the game. So I haven't really got out of anything. Because whoever I go to is still as hard. See, I mean, how'd you get up there? There's no room. Use your invulnerability. It's just Temple of Doom. I was trying to... There we go. Wait. That's a bit awkward. Look. I'm going to say we have a problem. Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, it was one of the more tossing eggs. Jump, jump, jump. If there be a ladder down, there's not a ladder. Why would there be a ladder down? Can I? Yeah. Oh. Well, there's a totally deep hole. Point to the coil. Do you fall one definitely? Does it loop? Let's be fair, why wouldn't I? Everything else in this game tries to kill me. Dead end. So, you know, there's routes for levels. There's a, ne there's a level of exploration needed. But that one you can walk through, I don't know. Thank you. I have a feeling we might be going in circle. Oh. Oh, techno and shit. Do I, I can't just keep forward. This could have been a mistake. Right. Nope. That works. things. There, I'm running, I'm running. Always running for the run. Oh, elevator. That is cool. I like the way the levels are varied as well. You don't feel like you just, oh, bollocks. You've just, you know, gone into one that looks ever so slightly similar. It's gonna bite me in the ass. 
Oh, no. It seems a tad unnecessary. He thinks it's Tron. See? What? Alright, we've got to jump in the I do like that, that beam at the end. I'm destined to die. You're destined to die. What? Do I have to take everything out on the outside first as well? I think it's our side. They are mixing up with the bosses already. Yeah, we'll go with that. I've got to shoot that, haven't I? Not necessarily that. Oh, I got it. How am I supposed to avoid that when I'm in this bloody R-type thing? Don't you dare respawn everything on that. Fuck off. Right, so don't worry about that. Wait, is it going to give me a chance to... Uh... No, of course, why would it? The gap. That's extreme levels of timing for so far, you know, just into the game. Alright, thank God for that. There you go. Two levels of Magician Lord on the Neo Geo. Granted, it's running on Connect 8 on my modded Xbox. It's balls horrifically hard, and I'm not very good at it. But it's a looker, and it sounds fantastic. And I would have been well impressed with this as a kid. And skint. Well, my parents would have been skint. You know, vicariously through me. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you played this back in the day, either on a system, around a rich mate's house, unless you were rich and had one, or uh, on an MVS in the arcade itself. You could take the uh, saves, couldn't you, from the arcade to the home as well, I just remembered that. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.